Ladies and gentlemen, Deborah Messing. Hi, Jimmy. Congratulations on being honored with this beautiful tribute to your work. I wish I could be there in person because, like so many actors in television, I have been blessed to have worked with you. You have changed me forever. And now I would like to introduce to you my fellow castmates, Eric McCormack, Megan Mullally, and Sean Hayes. I feel like we just won something. So cool seeing you together. This show meant so much to me. It's so fun watching those clips. Do you remember the first time you read the script for Will and Grace? Sure. What was your reaction? I, I, it was a little scary because it just read like, like a must-see TV show. It just read like something that was going to make it on air. And then when I heard Jimmy's name, it was like, oh, boy. This yeah. is going to... In fact, at the end of, it was the end of the first season, uh, and it had been going very well. And I saw Jimmy on the lot. I said, what are you, what are you still doing here? And he said, uh, oh, I was, just, uh, I was just talking to the boys about what we're going to do with your character next year. And I said, so, so there's, there's going to be a next year? And he said, for God's sake, McCormack, buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and we did. Yeah. Did he bring anything to each of your characters? Did he tell you anything about how to behave? Or he, Yeah, he even told me, like, towards the beginning of the first season, he told me to do a headstand on the chair when my character said, I'm bored, and I just did a headstand. Come on. Well, lots of people don't pay their taxes. Yeah, they're called criminals. Can we talk about something else? <laughs> Jack, you haven't paid your taxes for ever. Let me paint a picture of how it's going to go. Megan, talk to me about Karen's voice. How did you come up with that? Well, um, I, yeah, it was just kind of, um, just sort of started getting higher and higher. I, <laughs> I felt like I wanted to do it at the beginning, but I would get fired, so I didn't do it. So over the course of the first, like, ten episodes or so, it just kept getting a little bit higher and higher. <laughs> Regret the day I ever laid boobs on that man. <laughs> Honey, I'd suck the alcohol out of a deodorant stick, so you're asking the wrong gal. <laughs> Honey, you're simple, you're shallow, and you're a common whore. That's why we're so mad. Where do you think Karen would be today? Dead. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. There's no way she would survive. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Yeah. A liver can't stand married? that much. No, no, she'd be married to Donald Trump. Yes. Oh. <laughs> do you have a favorite memory of working with Deborah? A favorite Will and Grace moment or scene? Uh, I, the first thing that came to my mind was we had this very serious scene. We, we were going to have a baby together and she backed out. And we had this serious scene that really ended with the two of us telling each other to go to hell. I am going to try to be happy. And if you can't deal with that, then you are even more pathetic than I thought. Get out of here. Go to hell. No, I mean it. I want you out of here in two weeks. When we did it that first take, we, it was fresh and it was, so, it was great. And at the end of it, there was silence, the audience didn't, there was just a hush over the crowd, and I heard Jimmy say from the darkness, beautiful, hot. <laughs> and it was just, I mean, nothing matters more than Jimmy Burrow saying beautiful. Uh -huh. Do you two have a favorite Jack and Karen moment? Oh, God. Gosh. <laughs> How much time do we have? I mean... You tell us. Yeah. Well, that was Jimmy who, you know, choreographed all those slap fights. Get a grip on yourself! You get a grip on yourself! <laughs> My favorite thing was our last scene together. Oh yeah, we sang uh, Unforgettable. Unforgettable. That you just forgot. forgot yeah, yeah. Just... So beautiful. Yeah, not forgettable. Not. Yeah. Uh, Jack really knew how to make an entrance. How did yeah. that? Happened. Well, that that was 100% all James Burroughs. All, every single entrance, almost in the history of the show, we would spend. These guys would have yeah. to sit there on the couch and wait. Like, oh, we gotta wait to figure out. Uh, have uh, Sean and Jim figure out how he's gonna walk into the freaking room. Come in backwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you think of my glasses? Fake news. Hit it. B I G N E W X. 
to the cabin we will go and ski upon the snow. Oh, sister, I love my Mr. Mail. <laughs> tell me I'm lazy, tell me slow. Tell me I'm crazy, maybe I know. Can't help loving that man of mine. Take a jacket and pot a beret, and pot a beret, and souffle. <laughs> Talk to me about uh, the legacy of the show uh, for, for gay people. Why was it so groundbreaking? It was amazing when Joe Biden, just a few years ago, said we, we did more to move the gay movement in America than almost anything. And I, we all texted each other after, like, what did he just say? So I didn't, uh, me personally, I don't want to speak for everybody, you know, it was never our intention beyond making anybody laugh. So anything beyond that was incredible. And to now see to see that is just so rewarding. I think I speak for yeah, everybody. I, I, yeah. I, well, thank you so much. It's thank so you, fun Andy. To see Andy. you guys Andy. Coming up, the cast of Cheers, The Big Bang Theory, Taxi, and Friends.